I don't know. Ew. Is this a good flat, fat part? Welcome to the Unlock Levels CGM Unboxing. This is a continuous glucose monitoring device that you wear. The hardware is actually by Freestyle Libre, but they provide kind of the tool, the prescription, and everything all in one so that you can track your glucose levels throughout the day and understand how your life impacts it. <laughs> unlock what's inside. We're literally going to unlock what's inside. So let's open this bad boy. I'll do a comparison of Levels versus NutriSense just so you can understand what's the difference, which one's better, what they're like. Levels is still in their beta phase. NutriSense is kind of somewhat fully launched and they have a lot of things on the roadmap. Both of these companies doing something in this is amazing. All right, here it is, baby. We're about to open up the box. Let's zoom in for dramatic effect, but this is the actual box it comes in. Very nice black look, right? Their Levels logo on the front. And as we open this box, da -na -na, here it is. <laughs> We're here to help you pursue true health. Amazing. Welcome to Levels. They have the two Freestyle Libres right here. Obviously they're prescriptions. And we have the Levels in the middle with the two Freestyle Libre prescription by Abbott Labs. I'm gonna rip off the prescription on these so you don't see it. You wear these for 14 days. This is a Freestyle Libre 14 days. This is similar to the kind of the Dexcom. It's much smaller, I think, and it just kind of fits on the backside of your arm. They send you two of these. So for two, it was $3.99 for a month. And there's no like plan after that. It's just kind of like you can purchase it, I think month to month. But they give you two in the box. Then inside, we also have this unlock levels. Let's see what's inside. Maybe like a manual of some sort. True Pill Pharmacy. So that's probably the pharmacy that they work with. They take a survey and then they use a remote doctor to write you a prescription depending on the state you live in. In the United States, you need a prescription for one of these. In Canada though, I think you can go ahead and just buy them at like Walgreens or something like that. So this is the beta program. It might be different when you're ordering it. This is the Metabolic Awareness in Pursuit of Metabolic Fitness. This is their card. If you wanna read the text right there, you can pause and read it. And then on the back, they show you kind of how to start. You go to their website or you can scan that code with your camera app on your iPhone, with their Instagram and Twitter. You get two sensors, one month of one-to-one -one interaction with their Levels team, nutrition activities for dietary analysis, lifestyle tracking, personal analytics, and the option to continue after the beta program. I think these skin bandages that they give you are freaking cool looking. You have to have the, the Libre app and the Levels app since they're still in beta, I don't think they've incorporated the scanning portion of the Freestyle Libre within their app yet. Classic Freestyle Libre. We have alcohol swabs. You wanna clean your arm before you install this. You have the Abbott Labs kind of needle that punctures it in, and then the actual sensor, which is inside of here. Our team emailed you instructions, how to get started, boom. Install the Levels app, which I did through Test Flight, because beta, right? The Libre Link app, and then I had connected them. So you go to share and then Libre view, and then in there I would add it, and it, see I connected Levels, and now as I scan the data, it'll show up in the Levels app and I will get like a metabolic score. And it's got the catalog, what meals work for you. I can go ahead and add photos of my food. Boom, boom, exercise, notes, and then I can learn. They have a whole bunch of great articles actually. I really enjoyed reading their articles. And then I have the one-on-one -on -one chat so I can ask them questions, which goes straight to text message. So it's not built into the actual app. My sensor, it shows connected. And this is where it'll pull the data from the Libre app and the Libre database, or I can come in manually tap sync now. So that's the one thing, I wanna have a second performance cover. I'm not sure why they only gave me one. I'm a performing human being. I need two performance covers. That's an L. Wow. Well done, Levels. Levels program guide. Here we go. Here's the Levels guide. Very well done. Great design. Hey there. My name is Casey Means. I'm a medical advisor at Levels. I'm going to be walking you through putting on your first sensor. Hi, Casey. And you're going to twist the top of the sensor applicator. At this point, you'll see a tiny little needle. This is the second time I've installed a Freestyle Libre CGM on my body. And the first time for sure I was scared, I was freaking out, I was nervous and putting it on was scary. And I will tell you, it's not that painful. Like putting in a needle, like getting a shot is much worse. The biggest things that I learned, uh, someone who's kind of like a very physical base in movement and I like to do yoga, work out, lift weights, boxing, is that the performance cover is absolutely critical and this really helps keep it in place. This sticks on pretty well. After the 14 days, taking this off, it was still pretty sticky. So this is super 
super valuable. Use the performance cover. I highly recommend it and it helps prevent it from getting caught on your clothes and everything like that. The adhesive on the device itself is good, but this just creates that extra oomph that keeps it on there and protects it and allows you to have it for 14 days. And then in terms of like yoga, I couldn't figure out a good way to be able to practice yoga and do like inversions like crow pose or anything where you put your knee on your tricep where it wouldn't get in the way. You can put pressure on it, but it just felt weird. So something that will take time getting used to as well as just being comfortable with having that thing there. And I think just figuring out if I'm doing like a tricep exercise, my muscle is flexing and I don't really have a lot of fat and like fluid muscles around that. So like, it's definitely okay to be doing that. I don't know. I'm going to do more weightlifting this time than I did with it last time. So I'll see how long the freestyle Libre will stay on, but it's totally fine to, to live a normal life. And it's just like being slightly mindful that it's kind of there. And I think with the performance cover, you can almost forget and just like live as if like nothing's on your arm except for going in the water for more than 30 minutes and things like that. But yeah, I'm gonna swim with it. I'm gonna do yoga and I'm gonna do a whole bunch of variety of activities and we'll see how it goes. So make sure to subscribe down below and like this video for the full review because I'll be wearing this twice, right? Two 14 days and I'm so curious how this is gonna turn out. The first thing we wanna do is open up this alcohol pad and just wipe around the entire area. And now you can see the actual needle inside of it right there. The needle is gonna go in my body, it's not gonna actually stay in my body, right? It's a much smaller device. Three, two, one. Glued in there pretty good. It's got adhesive around it and a little point in the middle. And now what's left is right, this device here. It's a spring, so the needle gets covered in. Once the spring gets pushed out, what I'll do next is make sure the logo is facing up. I got you, fam. Voila. So right, anytime I flex, right, I'm gonna feel a sensation because now this is taped, but if I flex my muscle, potentially if part of this bandage is around or near on the muscle, my skin's expanding slightly and I might feel a sensation as I expand the bandage too and that can kind of loosen it, but that's okay. Your sensor is ready to be used. I'm gonna tap that notification and the Freestyle Libre app is now open. Your sensors check glucose, sensor ends in 14 days. Tap the check glucose button. Now the ready to scan pops up. So, you know, top of the phone. I think you can do it through clothes, so let's try it. Boom, right? You want the top, like the thin top part. That's where the NFC reader in the newest iPhones is. You can do any direction, front or back. I can go to the Levels app, sync now. So maybe the data just hasn't fully pulled through, but that's about it. I have my level CGM here and I've been working out three times a day, right? I just showed you where it was kind of coming off. I went for a swim, I didn't want to remove it. I got a different error, I should say. But that error said, hey, it's not working, try again in 10 minutes and now it's saying your sensor's not working. Please remove and start a new one. Your sensor has ended. It's been a couple hours, last scan was 2.32. So this is the one I got, the sensor error reading. This is the message I initially got. So I sent it to Mike because they have a great support chat system which is really cool, you just text them. And he was like, hey, just give it some time usually they come right back up. If it doesn't work, we'll send you a new one, send you a replacement. I'm just gonna remove it on camera. So you can see what it's like when you remove it. Wow, those veins though. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just take the, this part off. Maybe we can just get the bandage off. Damn, this logo is so cool though. And this is what the sensor looks like by itself when it's on your arm. I've worn this for nine days, no tan lines. Maybe slightly, surprisingly. But if I put the other sensor in, I'm gonna do it on the other arm. Should we pull this out? Should we, should we just do it? Should we just pull it out? Yeah, I'm just gonna pull it out. I'm done. Oh yeah. It's sideways. See, the sensor came out of my skin and it was legit sideways. I don't know what happened. So obviously we know that it wasn't working, but that's what the skin looks like after the fact. There's my beautiful tan lines. It is what it is. Levels sent me a couple more of their prototype performance bandages and this is what they look like. This will go on over the CGM, especially if you like to move and do a lot of things. These can probably help with keeping it on. These are the two dark only black ones and then this is the extra large with the Levels logo. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm gonna put that on. It's pretty big, but let's just do it. It'll look lit, right? Lit fam. All right, here we go. So step one is you wanna kinda clean that area. Ideally do this after a shower, but hey, I just kinda wipe it down with soap. And then you wanna wipe it down with an alcohol thing to get all the bacteria, any potential irritants out. So that is step one. Also wash your hands. Always be washing your hands. And since I'm a muscular dude, I am gonna try to put it in an area 
like right there where it's not on my muscle, just because if I'm flexing, right, it's gonna cause some challenges. This is probably the fattiest part, like right there. You wanna cut, you can do like this check here and be like, all right, there is the fattiest part. I'm gonna do another one just in case. Just in case, you know? Because we are puncturing through the skin, we wanna make sure it's fully cleaned. Maybe we should FaceTime the family. Take this piece off, you just unscrew it. This is the device that it's actually gonna mount it in. This one right here is what holds the actual CGM inside. We'll slide this out. Next thing you wanna do is take this component and it's kind of lined up. You can see the lines or the edges. You can see the edges right here, they line up. So you just line them up, it inserts in, and then you wanna push it up against the hard surface. So I'm gonna use my six pack abs. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> and now it's in, and then I'm gonna find that flappy kind of fatty part of my arm where when I flex my tricep sources, which is probably like right there. So like right there. And then I will pull this out. Why did no one answer? <laughs> this is live. Okay, zoom in. There we go. Boom. Right about there. I'm relaxing. What do you want? We're just installing the second CGM. I don't know. Is this a good flat fat part? Ooh, and then we just put it in and voila. Why do you make those faces? <laughs> Cause you're inserting something into your body. And then there it is. Tiniest needle. <laughs> voila, there it is. It's fully installed it's on my arm. Centered. What? Why does it have to be centered? It's not supposed to be centered. You don't want it to look nice? It doesn't matter, it's not about looks. This is about getting it in the right spot. And just like that, the CGM is now installed with the sticker around it. I might have installed it, I don't know. And that's it, thanks for watching, peace!